Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer with CNET, and I'm sitting next to the Panasonic TCP55 VT30. Uh, this TV is also available in a 65-inch series. This is Panasonic's highest-end television for 2011. It's a lot of anticipation leading up to the release of this television. It's the successor to the editor's choice, our favorite TV from last year, the VT25. And uh, in most ways, this TV is a worthy successor. It's the best performing television we've tested so far this year. In terms of design, Panasonic went back to its one sheet of glass on this model. The uh, single sheet covers both the frame and the screen itself for a sleek, integrated look that we really do like. On the downside, it does have a thicker bezel than a lot of the other plasmas out there, namely the ones from Samsung, so the TV itself is less compact for the screen size, but all told, we do appreciate the thin depth as well. It's a lot thinner than last year's models. Feature-wise, the VT30 comes with all the bells and whistles. That includes one pair of 3D glasses. These are infrared glasses, unlike the Bluetooth used by Samsung. It does have a new power switch, however, so you can easily tell whether the glasses are turned on and off. And in general, we felt they kept the sync very well, despite being infrared. The internet connectivity on this TV is also fully loaded. Panasonic includes a Wi-Fi dongle. There's no built-in Wi-Fi, but you can plug in the dongle and get Wi-Fi connectivity without having to pay extra. The VR Connect suite is the same as featured on lower-end televisions. Panasonic includes Netflix and Amazon Video On Demand, although it doesn't have YouTube or Hulu Plus yet. We do really like the layout of Panasonic's service. All the things are easy to reach, and you can arrange the thumbnails as you like. There's also a VR Connect marketplace that includes a few apps and a couple of $5 games from Gameloft, as well as some merchandise like 3D glasses and uh, USB keyboards and mice. Of course, prices on that marketplace are pretty high at the moment. Picture adjustments on the VT30 are extensive. There's a couple of THX modes, one for 3D and one for 2D. Those aren't very adjustable, but the custom mode is. It offers uh, more settings than any TV we've tested so far. Unfortunately, despite all those settings and custom, we weren't able to achieve as accurate as a, of a calibration as we hoped, but THX itself is pretty darn accurate to begin with, so we didn't miss them too much. As I mentioned at the top, the VT30 has the best picture quality of any TV we've tested this year. Its strength is excellent deep black levels, which are better than any of the other Panasonics we've seen this year. And also, although a little bit brighter than previous year's Panasonics, we don't expect that the TV's black levels will deteriorate, although we'll keep testing them and let you know if they do. Color accuracy on the VT30 in THX mode is extremely good, although not quite as good as some of the best we've seen. This TV also has the ability to handle 1080p24 sources correctly, and it also has an improved anti-glare screen. 3D performance of the VT30 was also very good, especially in THX mode, which had accurate colors and very good shadow detail. Crosstalk on this TV was relatively infrequent, although we did see a little bit more than we've seen on some of the best models. That's a quick look at the Panasonic VT30 series, and I'm David Katzmeyer.